Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Gupta and I have a Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation, I will share with you how easy it is to hyperlink data fields in Earnspeed Designer. To begin with, let's look at some use cases. Let's imagine a web application or a website which we have built where we have certain amount of data like on a website uh, URL name or an email address which we would automatically like to become a hyperlink and on click of those hyperlinks system should either open the the web page of that particular site or open up my default Outlook or email client and be ready to send them an email. So to begin with uh, here we have a like a, an account table where I can edit an account put whatever the website they have and so on. So by default since every single thing is showing as a literal this link is not clickable. So let's actually try to make the account website link clickable as priority number one. Once again we will rely on the formulas because formulas is a great great uh, tool to make it work. Now if somebody is familiar with the hyperlink uh, or the ahref uh, HTML syntax, somehow we need to take account website uh, literal into consideration and enclose it into the ahref uh, HTML command. So in order to do that, the best and the easiest way to do it is go back to the field, go to the formula tab and while showing record rather than account website, we can basically just uh, type in the entire string. And let me actually explain to you what the string is doing. It's basically going to replace it with starting ahref which is going to be hyperlink and the ahref mean basically where do you want me to take you that will take you to the account website URL in our case since the URL is fully automated with HTTP we basically don't have to prefix HTTP if the email link was without the HTTP you could have basically put the HTTP in the href command automatically then of course we are basically building another concatenation of the string where we are saying target is equal to underscore blank. What that does it, it automatically opens up the website into a separate tab on the browser. And of course we do want to display the account website as the name so, so that the user still sees the name. So what's going to happen is the original account website is right here. What we have done is we have prefixed it with a string as well as suffix with the ending tag for the ahref command and all this is basically all we need. On the same token if you go to a user account and you are looking at the user account page and the email address was visible I can do the same thing. I can basically I can copy and paste it and then alter it so I can say these were my fields email but in this case I will not be opening up an email in a blank page and so on so what I have to do here is href is going to be mail2. So mail2 with the semicolon is a special href command which tells you hey go ahead and open your mail client. So what I'm going to do is I will be opening up an, it's an href mail2 the email address whatever email address you type it in close the email uh, tag and of course show the email address again. So let's basically see how they both work. So in this case, we basically kind of um, worked on ahref on two different fields. One is the email address and one is the uh, the website. So the website ahref is going to open up the target website into a new tab and the email href or the hyperlink or the, or the data link will open up my default email client. So I'm going to build it. Hopefully it will not have any issues. And folks, for further um, review, you can definitely search for ahref syntax. So as long as you know the syntax, uh, it's a lot easier to know what we are really building. So now if I basically go in, refresh my screen, please remember that these icons were hyper, not hyperlinked, but now they are going to become hyperlinks. So I'm going to go in, log in, and as soon as I log in, uh, something did not work out okay I realize what happened we did not make them actually HTML encoded I apologize for that I forgot what we need to do is we need to also make sure that the H HTML encoded value is false we do not want to basically do that so same thing for the so show user account uh, show user account page we have to make sure that these fields are HTML encode value false I 
of course uh, when you're in rush sometimes these simple things you tend to, you tend to forget so I just basically uh, went and altered uh, the HTML and code value to be false so there you go as expected we now have the hyperlinks and if you click on the hyperlink it will automatically open my Google or it will open up my MSN into a new web URL if you want you can uh, basically even see that the records which do not have any value in it they are displaying blank so if I want to go to a particular record type in their URL and let's go to microsoft.com here hyperlink comes up click on it Microsoft website comes up and let's try the email address in case of an email as you can see the email address became a hyperlink and on click of it my outlook opened up and I'm ready to send an email message so in reality just want to make sure that everybody is clear that all we are really doing is remain uh, keeping the uh, the um, field as a uh, literal very important making the default value or the showing record or the formula a concatenated information which really in, at the end will result into an ahref and you're using the same field value to display as well as embed in the ahref and the one thing that we missed which definitely I want to make sure everybody keeps track of is the HTML encode value to be set to false so hopefully this was a pretty clear uh, demonstration and it clearly demonstrates how easy it is to take the data fields within an RSPeed application and make them hyperlinks to an external subsystems or external websites. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thanks for your time.